Hotep, I am that I am. Some call me Haru, your modern monk, your cannabis fitness strategist. Back at it again here for you. I'd like to welcome you back to another episode. Five oh, yes, that's 50 episodes. Back to back, right there for you. Here on the 411 Calisthenic Lifestyle. Giving it to you raw and real. <laughs> you feel me? So 5-0. Episode 5-0. Slow results that are measurable. <clears throat> Let me repeat that. Slow results that are measurable. You know, we have become a society where everything is fast gratification. Now I'm going to be talking about that on this particular show. So just tune in. I want to go back to appreciate you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for giving me the love, the comments, sharing with your fellow friends, family members, lovers, whatever the case may be. If they haven't heard it yet, if they haven't heard the 411 Calisthenic Lifestyle podcast yet, let them know. Give it to them. Show them. Hey, look, this brother is hitting a few things. He's he's hitting us right upside the head, but we're... <laughs> We're, we're starting to feel the little impact now. So I want to give a shout out to all those who's tuning in or tuning out, tuning out, therefore tuning in the modern monk. <clears throat> shout out to you. Subscribe. I got tees for sale, too. I got black T-shirts and I got white T-shirts. And they're definitely you are the gym selection on the prowl. What's good? I got a few new things coming out there, too. So be ready for it. Like I said, if you want a tee, $27 per shirt, you can hit me up on Cash App or you can hit me up on PayPal, whatever's clever. Let's get it, make it, let's make it happen. You are the gym all day. You are the gym and you have the power. You've been having the power. So take advantage of the power. So slow results that are measurable. We're talking about now, we're going to bring it, we're going to bring it right back to this form, the form that I originally started this podcast with. And that's basically talking about physical fitness results, <clears throat> getting your, getting your strength up, getting your stamina up, getting your endurance up, even though that's pretty much the same <laughs> term, stamina and endurance. But the basic idea is being able to be, to understand you, understand what you, what kind of results that you're willing to take without rushing, without being impatient. Because sometimes we get impatient with, I want fast results. I want to get to this particular weight. I want to get this particular fat content level in a particular time. But see, as you methodically take the steps and focus in on what what's really important because see the long term that's the cool thing the long term is the better results because you're consistent with it now when you when you start speeding up the process you know what i'm saying don't take me wrong this process can be sp sped up but my point is when you start to get all in impatient want to see the results quicker you'd be amazed of how done you are you don't when you're done you're done you feel me? That's the crazy thing. But when you slowly going about something, building a foundation, pull it, putting some solid rock up under yourself. You know what I'm saying? Putting some solid muscle up on your arms, that long term muscle. You know what I'm saying? When you getting people at your 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 job or wherever it may be, just saying, man, what are you doing, bro? I notice your arms are getting bigger. <laughs> I notice your legs are getting bigger. I see you got a prep to your step. Prep to your step. It's funny because I'm getting all these particular <laughs> comments, right? <clears throat> Compliments. At the JLB, even with my performance at the gym. See, it's a certain attitude I think you have to come with when, when you're talking about building muscle. When you're talking about building anything, right? Building anything. Slow results that are measurable. Measurable where it's significantly making changes in your life. You feel me? Because sometimes we get restless. Sometimes we get unease. Sometimes things get us in a particular mode where we don't want to perform fight or flight, right? 
But with the physical fitness element, and this is another thing I want people to understand about physical fitness side of things. Look, we all get tired. We all come to a point where we're drained. We all come to a point where we don't want to do anything. You feel me? I'm not no different from that. I have my issues and I have my days. No one's perfect. Period. But we have to, one of the things that proves in the pudding is that you keep it pushing. And I'm not saying keep it pushing till you're dead. Keep it pushing till you, you know, because some people are, we're way out of shape or we're way, we think everything's got to be extreme. And I'm not saying that here. That's why I'm saying slow results that are measurable. <clears throat> I'm looking at the significance. Look, a brother, I, I work out maybe four times a week, five times a week, sometimes all every day, right? What I have noticed with my progression and, you know, and, and, and you can, that's the cool thing about a physical gym. You actually can indicate where you're literally at. If you want to take certain statistics, like, okay, where's my bench press at? Okay. Where's my deadlift at? Where's my squat at? You know, One of the things with me, I'm not too much into squatting. I don't really, I I body weight squats, but not necessarily putting a whole bunch of weight on my body, particularly in a squat position and doing a squat. Now, leg press, okay, that's different, right? It's just a different form and it's a different approach. Um, Deadlifts, the same situation. I prefer doing deadlifts, you know. <clears throat> Even though you can s- significantly see the building, you can significantly feel the building. But see, the co- cool thing about these are slow results that are measurable. This is a thing I think where I where I have a a big difference within the fitness industry because a lot of these cats be talking about um, hyperperfect. I can't even say that uh, the term um, overworking your 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 muscles in other words. <laughs> So what I would say is this, building your muscles, pushing it to a limit and then stepping back, right? You push it to a limit, give it, give it time to rest, give it time to heal, give it time to grow. Like I've been doing, uh, recently I've been doing, I've been warming up with 225, right? This is my bench, for example. I've been warming up with 225, so I'm doing five reps of five sets or five reps to three sets right and what i've been noticing i've been noticing the growth okay i'm throwing this stuff up pretty easy right so i boost it up to 50 you know and i'm and don't take me wrong them are some significant jumps too that's another thing people need to be careful of when you're talking about results getting results it don't have to be no big (laughs) leaps these can be small micro leaps and I'm talking like, you know, three to five pounds more, you know, that's significant in itself. You personally, like within my psyche, I'm like looking at the weights. I'm like, OK, how can I just jump up to using <laughs> 25 pounders or the 35 pounders? You see what I'm saying? It's a different interpretation to others, how people look at it, even like what I'm saying about the slow results. The slow results are more measurable because you know what actually is in effect, even though you could do it fast and know what's in effect. But I think when you go faster, you tend to not respect your gains. You tend not to respect what you have achieved, if that makes sense, if you're with me. Those who are here, if you're getting any value from these podcast shows, subscribe. Send it to your fellow friend, brother, sister, lover, whoever it may be. You know what I'm saying? We're here to help out, to extract, or to educate, or to heighten, or to enlighten the mind, right? To start thinking. Start thinking Then we plan. Then we put action. You feel what I'm saying? That's how it works. Period. Point blank. That's the reality of what we have been within this three dimensional particular galaxy or worldview. Right. 3D. (laughs) Even though some of us in 4D, some of us in 5D. And some of us may be higher. 
not on this plane. Uh Uh-oh. But guarantee slow results that are measurable. This brings me back to when I say slow results, this brings me back to my meditation practice. Right. I've been meditating for a few years now, more than 10. Right. So it's an understanding you progress, you develop more different techniques. These are things that I think we don't really um, stay tuned to, but we rather do it with other bullshit around our life instead of the things that's important in our life. Right. Like health, like fitness, like uh, our relationships. You feel me? These things are very important. And I notice even just walking around Honolulu or Hawaii is kind of bad. We got more. We got more unhealthy people than any time in our history. Right. And it's crazy because it's it's like so surrounding around you where it does motivate you to. okay, let me go over here and go to McDonald's. It's not like they got all these um, health vegan stores around you all the time. Think about it. It's all these fast food, nasty shit that really, really take from your body. It takes from your body, right? It depletes it. It, it kills it. It destroys your body. That's what the purpose of fast food is, right? Fast food. They came genius, genius, but see slow results that are measurable. Now I've been Always pretty methodical of developing certain skills, right? Developing certain skills, but at the same time, building endurance, at the same time, building greater strength to be able to master my body, just like you should be wanting to do. You should be wanting to master your body, not allowing somebody else to master your body, to dictate what you do day in, day out. Even though we have to start somewhere, but we have to move forward. We have to take on initiative. We have to take on ambition. You know what I'm saying? To want to better yourself. Slow results that are measurable. Now, I've been in the phase where I've been making more equipment. I'm back in that phase again. I'm making more fitness equipment. Developing more fitness equipment. And what I mean by fitness equipment too is like <clears throat> building new skills. This is another thing, building new skills. That's why I'm saying slow results that are measurable. What I mean by slow results, I mean by slow habits, developing habits that are implemented in your life that will better your life, not just better quality of your life, but others around you, right? Pushing others forward, too, as as they see fit within that particular relationship that you have amongst them or whoever you may be encountering, <laughs> per se. Slow results that are measurable. <clears throat> you look at your waist, <laughs> your waistline. My waistline got bigger. You look at your arms. My arms got bigger. You know what I'm saying? And it's funny because how many times are we actually self-checking? Uh-oh. Self-checking. You feel me? Are you with me on this? How many times are we literally self-checking to see what's going on with our bodies, with our mind, with our soul? That's the whole point of meditation. Slow results that are measurable. Finding the results that are measurable. Oh, I want to lose this belly gut. Well, before you lose the belly gut, you got to lose all that other gut (laughs) that's around your body. (laughs) You feel me? That's going to hurt a few people's feelings. But see, this is the thing. We we be, we are becoming a lazy society. You know what I'm saying? We're coming that uh, Willie. What it was? Um, uh, Wally. We're becoming that Wally. Think about it. We're becoming that movie, that little cartoon animated series. Wally. Go watch that and see the significance behind that movie. 
they, they, they probably saying this brother be watching some crazy shows. <laughs> Wally. Slow results that are measurable. The only time you can measure your results are by the numbers, right? This is what we understand. That's why we always talking about getting your finances right. Paying attention. Owning your finances. Controlling your finances. Controlling you. Controlling your mind. Controlling your thoughts. Therefore, other things will start to be in control. Your environment. Because that's the, one of the biggest ones. And it definitely have a big effect on you. That's what I'm saying. Slow results that are measurable. You have to take the first step, folks. Even if it's about getting outside, going for a walk, even a 45 minute walk, just walk your neighborhood or you could just start off right in the house and just walk right in that area or run in place. There's so many opportunities now. You got a TV right in front of you. You could just turn the TV on to do some running <laughs> or put on uh, Richard Simmons. <laughs> You feel me? Or turn on You Are The Gym channel. YouTube channel. I got plenty of videos on there. And if you ain't got that much, if you don't think that's enough, you can go over to the Denver Bar Squad or work out forever. <laughs> and we got plenty of exercises. We got plenty of uh, demos you can actually do. People are always talking about variety. Why well, have all them varieties and you can't even do the basics? Uh-oh. <laughs> slow results that are measurable see look you gotta be wanting to you gotta be you have to be wanting to get your mind right get your you know soul right get your mental right get your physical spiritual all that stuff you gotta want to do that you have to want to do that Slow results that are measurable. And stop thinking about what everybody else think of you. You know what I'm saying? Fuck them. They ain't got nothing to do with you. You just got to handle your business and stay on your course. Uh-oh. Slow results that are measurable. I know what my mission is. My mission is not the same as your mission. We all on different paths. Therefore, we're... Working on getting to the same place is kind of ironic. <laughs> Slow results that are measurable. When you see and you taking off your shirt, this is this is one of the indicators too. You don't really pay no attention till you actually start. Okay, you get up on the scale and you see that scale move. <laughs> you know, tests or results. The results are measurable uh, instruments. That's what we're talking about here. Measurable instruments. And the measurable instrument is your meditation practice, is your physical fitness practice. You feel me? Is your new habit practice. Affirmations. I love money. Money loves me. I'm a happy man. And I will be happy until the days of happiness has disappeared. <laughs> Even though we got our negative too. But see, it's all about per perseverance. I can't even say the word correctly. But y'all know what I'm talking about. Getting through it. Handling your business. Forgive and forget. Or forget and forgive. Keep it pushing. Some people are meant to be in your life and some people are not meant to be in your life. Only maybe for a spur of the moment and keep it pushing. Keep it pushing. Slow results that are measurable. Really putting it down. Getting the basics down, right? In any format, any industry, any... <laughs> niche market you have to get the foundation down foundations come first but what if i said i want to i want to be an example even though funds money and all that stuff comes with that you kind of feel what i'm saying they always talking about be pat be something you know 
Be passionate about what you enjoy. And it's not even, the crazy thing is not even the money. It's the, the thing of what it is is about making sure you can eat, making sure just the necessities. And it's crazy how we think about that. You know, I mean, literally your energy goes to that. How can I survive? How can I? And that's not even meant. Really, that's not even the whole purpose of this of this life, because we have created all this extra crap. Or extra tools that are measurable, we think that are measurable or useful in our life, but they're not. <laughs> Crazy, huh? Think about it. Think about it. We got all this extra tools in our life. Maybe it may better some things, but maybe it may not better things. Because, see, the more shit you got, the more problems you got. <laughs> I got to worry about all my, you know, Royal Royces and Lamborghinis and Ferraris getting stolen. You know how many of these superstars always have their stuff stolen? Somebody getting them? They don't tell you that story. You see what I'm saying? They don't tell you that story. I remember um one of the Anway brothers, Brad Wigamont. I mean Brad uh Brad Duncan. He said he got his car stolen and, and this dude put so much money in this car, it was tight too. I forgot what type of car it was. But it was a high luxury, high end car he had purchased. And he said somebody stole that car. <laughs> and I don't think he ever got it back. But my point is I'm, and, that, and that's just one example, but I know as many examples out there where these rich multi-millionaires and billionaires get their stuff stolen, but they don't tell you that story, right? That humbling story. <laughs> but just think about it. It's so much drama. That's more pressure on you. That's more stress. But you don't want to hear that. That's why I'm saying slow results that are measurable. Now, that could be debatable, too. You know what I'm saying? That could be debatable. So I'm not sitting here saying it's one sided because nothing's one sided. Like I say, everything I'm saying here is rumors. <laughs> it's literally rumors. So take it at heed. But at the same time, do your own research. But the own research is going to be your own due diligence. How you feel, how you come down to your conclusion within what you have developed, right? We might agree with a few things and we may disagree on a few things. But the whole point is how can we move forward together, empower each other, slow results that are measurable. Working on certain techniques, mastering certain techniques, right? Everything is some type of skill. <laughs> you know, communication is a skill. Being able to convey a storyline is a, you know, or writing about something. Right? It's a skill. You know, how do we master this skill? And that's what I'm talking about now. Slow results that are measurable. I'm seeing crazy results right now with my physical fitness Side, even with my mental fitness or my mental capital, you know, the books I've been reading, I've been able to regurgitate. I'm talking with a few of these finance brothers and sisters currently about to add some more to my portfolio, my asset portfolio. So I'm like, OK, what do I need to do? How do I go about this? How can we maximize all the results that I'm looking forward to <laughs> within this Asset. Because believe it or not, folks, you are the asset. And you're worth unbelievable. You're not even money. That's the cold thing. You're not even money, but you the currency. You're the energy. Uh-oh. You heard me, Sadat? Brother Sadat, shout out to you. All rest in peace, brother. The energy. Slow results that are measurable. Finding, <laughs> digging deeper. People talking about they want to get rid of that gut. 
People talking about they want to get rid of this, get rid of that. Look, you have to add some value back into whatever it may be to create it, right? To create that result. That gut dust didn't come over overnight either. That gut took time to get there. So it's definitely going to take time for you to step your game up. Do some jump rope. Do some running in place. Do some hopping in place. Maybe do some burpees. <laughs> you know, it's so many alternatives now. The walking thing has been tremendous. And it's kind of interesting because there's been a lot more of these fitness um, extreme athletes are starting to incorporate more walking. And they're realizing that because we drive everywhere. We are pretty lazy culture. Literally. And it, it can be like a mile, a mile. And we'll be talking about let's get an Uber. I'm not walking that far crazy stuff. I never understood it, but you go to the job and you walking up and down these big ass buildings, <laughs> literally. And you put more steps in, but you're not the, the key thing with the walking or the key thing with your physical fitness. You have to get that heart rate up there. Slow results that are measurable. Get your heart rate up there. Start to challenge yourself. That's another thing. We have to start challenging ourselves. Stop always thinking what everybody else is doing. What works for you? Find the element that works for you. Abdul, shout out to you. He's in the kickboxing, right? So kickboxing is maybe his outlet. Just like me. I was a wrestler. I'd rather get on the mat and get busy. <laughs> you know? But I have found other ways to do that same thing with my push-ups, with my pull-ups, you know, with my bench press, with my walking everywhere. That's a funny thing, too, because people be tripping when I tell them I'll be walking places. I'll be like, well, look, it's not that far, especially being from Alaska in Fairbanks, the small town. You tend to walk everywhere. That was my whole key thing. Nothing was far to me. Nothing seems far in a, what, five, maybe five, six, seven, maybe five to ten radius. Keep it real with you. Because <laughs> I tend to walk it with ain't no thing. I mean, I'm doing, what, 12 miles? What are we doing? 12 miles just going to Alamo, Alamoana Park. Six miles there, six miles back. You know, but it, it's nothing. And then between that six miles, I'm doing a couple more miles in there because I'm doing some training. I'm running. I'm up on the pull up bars, making it happen. You feel what I'm saying? But your time, th that's the beauty of time, too. Matter of fact, speaking of that, I'm going to hit the I, 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 I can't even say it. I'm going to hit the beach tomorrow. Get the beach, get me some fresh air. Since we just had this little hurricane that flew by us. Shout out to the hurricane. Thank you for not killing us. <laughs> Slow results that are measurable. Slow results are more beneficial too. That's what I noticed. I, I appreciate them more than the fast results. All of a sudden I'm shooting up to this and that. Because we tend to rush things. Like I'm, I'm slowly progressing 250, then I'm going to hit up a 275, then I'm going to get up to 315 if I want to be lifting that much. I'm a pretty small guy. I'm about 155 right now, you know, but throwing up that much weight and it, it has been done before in my younger years, <laughs> you know, but it's kind of interesting how things are a lot lighter now, feels a lot lighter, you know, and I think because the conditioning of the body, you know, and how I've been able to, I've been able to master certain skills, basics within my particular years of progress. Slow results that are measurable. Keep the fat off me or the extra fat. How do I get a chiseled? Look, you, you gotta, this is the thing too. People, all of our bodies are different. 
You know, we respond different to certain foods. Boom, boom, boom. It's about really paying attention. That's why I'm a big advocate of journaling, putting your stuff down on a on paper or even these little apps they got now. I'm even trying out this Google Fit app, even though they got more information on you anyway. (laughs) Google. But it's just interesting that we can start optimizing and really getting the numbers of where we're at. How we do things, you know, how far we've been able to accomplish certain issues. Because you'd be surprised the endurance you truly have. Because I notice even with the the mask in the gym, right, I'm able to breathe. <laughs> because I think of the mastering of being in a higher elevation in that time of uh, Denver, Colorado. I was able to learn how to breathe correctly. Uh-oh. Meditation techniques. Because we, we're, as a species, we, we've been doing all the opposite as far as what the universe truly wants us to be doing. You see what I'm saying? We're on a different frequency. The frequency we got off, we're way off. You know, we're lost. We're fearful. And we seem like we just don't We don't want anything. That's what the society is putting off. We just want to get by. We want to just survive. Literally. We just want to survive. Nobody want responsibility. Nobody have no accountability for nothing. Therefore, we're wondering why we're lost. (laughs) This is what I'm noticing. Don't take me wrong. That's debatable too. Well, I'm seeing progress. I'm seeing beauty. And I'm not knocking that. It's plenty of beauty. It's plenty of progression. Positive. But we have been focusing too much on the negativity. On the big belly. And I use the big belly because we we tend to get the big belly, especially as men. Women too. (laughs) But men get the big belly and we don't we don't question it till after, you know, I, I'm talking like years. You you could be, you know, oh, man, I got all this fat and this and that. But think about it. You haven't done no working out. You haven't did no physical fitness activities. <laughs> yeah, I'm working. I'm doing this. I'm working. Yeah, I'm getting my I'm working. I'm at the job. No, the job is different. That's totally different. Your body come condition your body get conditioned to certain habits, certain forms, certain things. But when you start putting your body in a physical motion, start running, getting that heart rate up, doing some burpees, doing some jumping jacks, doing some uh, body squats, doing some push ups, all of a sudden, uh oh, resistance. <laughs> okay, time to build. I gotta help out with those muscles. Those muscles, you don't use those muscles when you're up in this traditional job environment. Most of us sitting down, sitting on our asses, talking about, I don't, I don't know how I got this big. <laughs> I don't know how I got this big. But you haven't done any physical fitness <laughs> activity, recreational activity in years. In years. <laughs> Not months. I'm talking years. People who haven't even been out and can't even, you know, and, you know, I grew up with a lot of crazy athlete. You know, now I see a lot of them where they're not even doing anything anymore. And you kind of be at awe, like, wow, you was like the best on the team, dude. And you acting (laughs) and you looking like that. You should be ashamed of yourself. Really? Keep it real with you. You should be ashamed of yourself. Because what kind of example are you setting? Especially when they see you. That's like Michael Jordan being all out of shape. But you see that brother, he's still balling. <laughs> he might not be whooping everybody, but he's still able to move and do what he needs to do. Hence, hence, Mike Tyson. Uh-oh. Even Mike Tyson said, hell no, nah, I can't be looking this big. I got to get my life back. Slow results that are measurable. See, and most of the time, after the slow results have gone, that's when, well, slow results have taken place. 
that's when you're seeing everybody popping up on the, you know, oh, I've been doing this, I've been doing that. This is what kind of result I'm getting. Even the even the progression is kind of interesting too, because uh, Hit Richards, Calisthenic Kings, he was mentioning in his book. You know, he he works out every day. You know, but I was noticing the rep counts, right? The rep counts he's doing. I mean, even though he may be going till he's sore, I don't know if that's the case. But it's still be able to give your body rest because your body needs to rest. It needs to recover, right? But slow results that are measurable. As you progress, you know, you may be do onesies, twosies. That's what I'm saying. I've been able to see my bench press just go up crazy. <laughs> Recently, I've been just seeing, I'm like, wow, okay, I'm, I'm there, you know. In some cases, you, you tend to look at it because I always had a, a uniqueness with lifting weights anyway, like, when it comes to like, I was always a small, they used to call me the ant. This was years ago. This was when we was in, uh, prior to the Bears football team, the ant. Cause I used to be able to lift, tri- triple my, <laughs> my weight. You see what I'm saying? That's, that's something I think, not just me, but I'm just saying people, we gotta realize the opportunities that we have. If you don't realize the opportunities that you have, then how are you ever going to build? How are you ever going to move forward when you stand in the same place, same mindset, you know, not not putting any value within you? Slow results that are measurable. I'm reading a book every day. I'm reading a book literally every day. Right. Or I'm listening to an audio every day. Something that's actually feeding a brother. Not fast food, but good food. Empowering food, strengthening food. Slow results that are measurable. Now, I want to thank you again for tuning in. I want to thank you again. For subscribing, commenting, sharing this with your fellow friends, brothers and sisters all around the world. Because like I said, I'm seeing all kinds of news. Every time I get up on the feed is more people from other countries. And, you know, it's amazing. And I really appreciate what we have been able to manifest. Right? So slow results that are measurable. You know, everything can be measured if you put it in a simple format. You can see progress within your progress if you're paying attention to that progress. Therefore, writing it down. Therefore, meditation. Therefore, thoughts are things, right? Thoughts are things, plan, put in action, discipline, another key word. But I want to leave you with that. Have an awesome day or night, wherever you may be at this time. I appreciate you. Truly love you. Truly uh, grateful for you for tuning in. You definitely have a great and awesome good day, good night. And goodbye, the modern monk.